Hey guys, this is Arkin657 here with another Pokemon Auras Wi-Fi battle. This battle is against Lancer, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Anyways, um, he's going to start off with his Gengar. And I'm going to start off with my Beedrill. And I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to go for the Protect to see what move he's going to go for. And he's going to go for a Thunderbolt. And then I'm going to switch out into my Raikou to take the Thunderbolt. But he's going to go for a Shadow Ball. Instead. And get the special defense drop. And I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball of my own. And it almost takes it out. And he's going to take me out with a Sludge Bomb. And then I'm going to go into my Beedrill again. And I'm going to go for the U-turn. And I'm able to take him out with a crit. And I'm going to go to my Mandibuzz. As it goes to Dragonite. And I'm going to switch out. To my Sableye. He's going to go for the Dragon Dance. And... He's going to switch out because he doesn't want to... Uh, take a will o -Wisp. So he's going to go to Volcarona. And I do go for will o -Wisp, And I'm going to go for the Taunt just to keep him from setting up his uh, Quiver Dances. And then I'm going to switch out into my Mandibuzz. He's going to go for the Heat Wave. And it does a nice amount. Nice amount. So... Um... He's going to go for the Heat Wave again, and it does a little bit more. And I'm going to go for the Toxic to wear him down. And I'm going to switch out to my Sableye as he goes for Quiver Dance. So I'm going to go for a Taunt, I believe. Yeah, I go for Taunt. And he's going to go for the Bug Bugs. And he's going to take me out. I'm going to go to my Mandibuzz. I'm going to switch out into my Conkleder. As he goes for a Bug Buzz. And the Bug Bugs actually does a lot of damage. being stabbed and despite uh, resistance um, it's plus one it's stabbed so it's going to do quite a bit of damage and then he's going to take me out with a heat wave and then I'm going to go to my B drill and I'm going to go for the protect just to get the toxic damage to take him out Now he's going to go to Aegis Slash, and I'm going to switch out to my Mandibuzz. He's going to go for the Swords Dance, and he's going to go for the Shadow Sneak, I believe. Yeah, he goes for Shadow Sneak, and I live with 17 HP, and I'm going to go for the Roost, and that was a crit. Get my leftovers recovery, and he's gonna go to um, he's gonna go for the king shield, and I'm gonna go for the roost again, just to get back up to full health, and then he's gonna go for another swords dance, and I'm gonna go for the whirlwind just to uh, take away his stats and everything, and he's gonna go to his Dragonite and I'm gonna go for the Toxic as he goes for Dragon Claw and it doesn't do that much cause this Mandibuzz is physically defensive so I'll be able to take uh, whatever move he has and he's gonna go for the Dragon Dance and I'm gonna go for the Whirlwind 
He's going to get dragged down into his Greninja. And he's going to switch out into his Egg Slash. And I am going to switch out as well into my Ferrothorn. And I'm going to switch again into back into my Mandibuzz. And he's going to go for the Swords Dance. And he is going to go for an Iron Head. And that does around half. And I'm going to go for the Whirlwind. He's going to go to his Greninja. And I am going to switch out into my Ferrothorn. And he's going to go for the Ice Beam. And the Ice Beam does almost half to Ferrothorn. And he's Life Orbed. He is going to switch out into his Aegislash. Slash. And I am going to go for the Gyro Ball. Get the leftovers recovery, and he's gonna go for the sword stance. And I'm gonna go for the leech seed just to wear him down. Um, and I think he goes for another sword stance. Yeah, he goes for another sword stance. And I'm gonna go for the thunder wave. And he's going to get Leech Seeded. And I'm going to switch out into my Mandibuzz. He's going to go for the Shadow Sneak. And it doesn't do much to me, so... I'll get the Leech Seed Recovery. And I'm going to go for the Roost to get back up to full health or so, close to. He's going to go for the Iron Head, and it does a lot of damage. And he's going to get Leech Seeded, and I'll get the Leech Seed Recovery again. And then I'm going to go for the Knock Off, and I'll be able to take him out. And I knocked off his Weakness Policy. He's going to go to Greninja, and I'm going to switch out into my Ferrothorn. He's going to go for the Ice Beam. It does round half to me, so he's going to take Life Orb damage. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse. And... I go for a Thunder Wave. To slow him down. And he gets paralyzed over here. And I'm going to go for the Leech Seed. And he'll get Leech Seed damage. And I'll get Leech Seed recovery. And I'm going to switch out into my Mandibuzz. Just to be death fodder. I don't really need Mandibuzz, so I'm just going to let it take the dust. So he's going to take me out with an Ice Beam. And I'm going to go to Beedrill. And I'm going to go for the Protect just to get more Leech Seed damage off of him. So or like Leech Seed recovery off of him. And I'm going to go for the Poison Jab and take him out. Now he's going to go to his Dragonite. And I'm going to switch out because I don't think Poison Jab will take him out from that range. So I'm going to go to Ferrothorn as Death Fodder. Just to get um, Iron Barb's damage on him. And he's going to get the Toxic damage. And then I go back into my B drill. And then I go for a protect just to get more damage. 
more toxic damage on him. Just to make sure that that poison jab is enough to take him out. And I go for a poison jab and I'm able to take him out. He's going to go to his superior and I'm going to go for the poison jab again and take him out. So, good game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just um, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.